North Texas, we're under the uh, heat advisory and the excessive heat warning once uh, once again today. So that is back. But today, the difference between the temperatures and the shade and the direct sunlight are different. So we do want to talk more about that. We bring in meteorologist Marty Mar Ruiz to talk more about it. We know it. Those heat alerts are uh, back and we're talking about the difference in temperatures in the shade versus not in the shade. Often we tell you anytime we have a heat alert, make sure to take frequent breaks and it's because of this. So the temperature the air temperature taken is always taken in the shade. And today, for example, whenever it reaches 100 degrees, that's air temperature in the shade, but not in the shade can vary big time. We can see temperature readings close to 115 with those thermometers not in the shade. Factor in the humidity, it'll feel maybe even closer to 120. Now again, that's not in the shade, and this is why. So the temperature in the shade is the actual air temperature. That reading is the official and generally reported out of DFW Airport. The sun's rays actually don't warm the air. Whenever the sun is warming our earth, it warms the surface. It warms the ground. It warms uh, that, and the air is actually being warmed by the ground. So we have our hottest temperatures on the ground and it cools the higher you go up into the atmosphere. So air is actually transparent to the sun's rays. So whenever you're in direct sunlight or whenever a thermometer is in direct sunlight, it's also taken into consideration the sun's rays touching either your skin or the actual thermometer. That's what makes the temperature just soar about 10 to 15 degrees. So taking breaks, it matters big time, especially when we're talking about a 20 degree temperature difference. Thanks.